What it is, what it do. Peace and love to all the gods and goddesses and all the high vibrating species on the planet. What it is, what it do, Academates. Welcome back to the channel. Salutes to you. Uh, how we living out there, y'all? How's everybody living? Is we good? We good out there? I hope so, cause uh, we gotta we gotta quit shot real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got some things to do. So we're running around the house. You know what I'm saying? So we uh we're gonna do this in real quick. I saw it and I, I was kinda intrigued about someone looking over us. I mean, you know, we we well, if you don't, then you know what I'm saying, uh, cause I don't I don't expect everybody to subscribe to this to the same things here. Um so we have we have spirit guides, we have angels, guardian angels, da 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 da. da you know what I'm saying? So we we're we're somewhat aware of certain beings or entities or spirits or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, looking over us. Um, I'm not sure if this this is where this is going. Seeing that it's a keter, uncontained, I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that we don't want this thing looking over us. Um. Uh, yeah that's that yeah so let's let's uh, let's find out exactly what it is you know what i mean so and then i mean and then the fact that it's uncontained so that means it's someone could be in danger here so uh academates i hope you got what you need because i do and without further ado you know what i'm talking about we're gonna go ahead and get this one bussing we have scp 4999 that's 49.99 and Bus. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4999. Object class, is that him? Is that him right there? safe. Is that him? Be safe. Special containment procedures. Hold up. Oh. Due to SCP-4999's... Un Red flag on the play. Red flag on the play. Okay. Academates, are we here? He, okay. That says Keter. He just says safe. Now we know who playing. We already know who's involved in the play because you, when you when you say Keter here uncontained, that makes you bite fingernails. Then when you actually get up on the object class, it's labeled as safe. So maybe it's upgraded and they just didn't say that in the actual caption here. Uh, but it's confusing. And when you get confusion, you already know who brings that. No matter what you subscribe to, it's always going to be the same person or persons under the same banner. That's going to be bringing you your confusion. We know who that is. Okay. Always in the details. Look finely. You'll find him. So now. I'm curious about this guy. He looks like Constantine. Oh and then we back with the blue guys. Check it out. Check it out. We're blue down here. So this is throat chakra. This is the truth. And then it's a, it's a small amount of time, so that means they're definitely holding out. Or they don't know much. So let's find out. Willingness or inability to appear before more than one person at a time, in addition to the subsequent and immediate death of any who witness it firsthand, SCP-4999 is effectively self-containing. 
and he reports of SCP-4999 manifestations captured by security camera feeds, photographs, or similar are to be investigated, and the media confiscated for analysis. All second-hand witnesses among the civilian populace are to be amnesticized. Description SCP-4999 is a humanoid entity of unknown composition, visually resembling a middle-aged male. Its physical appearance varies, with its dark suit being the only constant between manifestations. Due to the rarity of recorded SCP-4999 manifestation events and the highly specific circumstances in which they occur, little data concerning its nature or intent is available. However, its behavior is consistent across all recorded sightings. SCP-4999 will manifest only in the presence of one solitary human person at a time. All subjects recorded to date have been in terminally poor health, critically injured, or on their deathbeds. With SCP-4999 appearing nearby and within sight of the individual not more than 20 minutes before their expiration. SCP-4999 will only appear if the subject is conscious and alone. It will not appear if the subject is comatose, asleep, or unconscious, nor will it appear if they are being cared for by or in the company of or otherwise being directly observed by another person. Upon manifestation, the entity will seat itself directly adjacent to the subject's bed, if such furniture is available. If not, it will remain standing or sit on the floor or ground in whatever configuration will allow it direct physical access to the subject without causing disturbance. Once situated, it will remove a pack of cigarettes from its left inside jacket pocket and offer one to the subject. If the subject accepts, SCP-4999 will place it between their lips, remove one for itself, and light both. If the subject declines, SCP-4999 will light and smoke the cigarette instead. Okay, so I already know just by this, it sounds like the Grim Reaper, right? But that's not, that's not his M.O. Like, in a suit and smoke cigarettes, that's definitely not, not the Reaper. Um, at least... I'll say, let me say it like this. It's not the guy that they introduced to us as the Reaper. Now, um, I'm not saying that every time he shows up that he has to be the cloaked skeleton. I'm not saying that. So let's not, you know what I'm saying? Don't, nobody, no, please. Nobody put words in me mouth, please. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is, Giving the 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 circumstance, uh, I mean, or at least not even circumstance, given the introduction, that's just not his mo. I mean, shit. Even even Red Skull looks like the Grim Reaper. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, um, but a suit and cigarettes definitely sounds like Constantine. But that's not Constantine's mo either. He's an exorcist. But. That could just only be one story told about Constantine, that he was an exorcist. But I digress. Let's 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 continue further and let's see if we can if we can dial this down and see exactly who this this person may be. The entity will make physical contact with the subject, typically via holding their hand, placing its hand atop theirs, or resting its hand on their shoulder. SCP-4999 will then remain with the subject, silent and unmoving, until they have passed away. He's definitely, def whoever, whoever or whatever it is, it's definitely there for comfort. Um, because certain, some people, I mean, then looking at the, the, uh, the circumstances of the, of the, uh, the, the, the person that's, that's on their deathbed or, you know what I'm saying, about to transcend, um, that's, some people don't have anyone, uh, via whatever the reason the case may be. Um, some people are, most people are afraid because they don't, they're not sure what's on the other side. Um, but 
just 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 so you know it and this does not matter what you subscribe to no it don't matter where if whether if, whether it's religion or whatever your culture is your your whatever you know what i mean if if you need someone at this at this time you can all, always in your mind call upon anubis um and anubis will show up and he will guide you and and be with you through the transition uh, the, uh basically you transcending the realm you're passing over and he will be there to comfort you and let you know everything whatever you know what i'm saying it's basically the same things that the spirit guys would do or your guardian angel or you know what i mean and um he typically he would typically come uh as more so what the person he you know what i'm saying needs so I don't really think that he would show up every time as a man, but he may he may show up every time as a man. May, maybe not dressed the same, or maybe so. He may not offer a cigarette, or maybe he will. You know I mean, it's, it's just, it varies. I mean, because he said it changes, so it varies. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm pretty sure it varies by the person. Whoever he's dealing with is how this entity is going to approach this person to ensure their comfort. Because sometimes, I mean, some folks, that they're, they're afraid of death, and they're, I mean, they're afraid... Uh, they're afraid of death they're afraid to death of death you know what i mean um so that's just food for thought um food for thought just food for thought but like i say it doesn't matter what 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 you subscribe to and i'm not knocking on in no one's religion you know what i mean it's just it's one of those things i just know for a fact in studies that that's one person that you can definitely call on because that's what he deals with you know what i mean and he may not show up as a guy with in a suit with cigarettes. He may show up as a Doberman Pinscher, a dog. You know what I mean? Because that's what he's depicted in Kemet. So he may show up as a dog right before that time comes. And frequency being high, you know, some things they're not going to see at all. I mean, for the most part, he's probably just allowing them to see that. They probably see this guy a lot more, you know what I'm saying, than, than he than they actually know about. But whatever. Let's get it. SCP-4999 has not been seen to engage in any other activity or behavior nah, and demanifests for. immediately upon the subject's death. The subject's cigarette, however, will remain, providing the only physical evidence of SCP-4999's presence. They use that smoke. No subject thus far has been seen to recoil from or otherwise resist the entity nor have any attempted to engage it in conversation, despite multiple instances of subjects acknowledging the entity's presence via eye contact, adjusting posture to reciprocate or facilitate the entity's touch, breaking into tears when noticing its presence, or verbally thanking the entity when offered a cigarette. They know Individuals what time it is. affected by SCP-4999 share a number of common attributes. Research into identified subjects has indicated that SCP-4999 is more likely to appear if an individual lives alone, is non-religious, is impoverished or homeless, displays a history of mental illness, is a military veteran, has no criminal record, or has never been convicted of a violent crime, has no currently surviving family, is unmarried or otherwise lacks a significant other, has little to no social standing in the community, does not exhibit any record of significant professional or personal accomplishments, has few to no mutually beneficial interpersonal relationships, or exhibits qualities and life history that have rendered the individual nondescript, anonymous, neglected, or otherwise unremarkable or insignificant by the standards of their respective society. Like I said, Someone that is alone and just not sure. So for the for the for you, the you Bible thumpers out there, like I said, I'm not knocking on any religions or anything like that. And that's why that's why they, they laid it out the way that it is when they said, you know, what I'm saying if they don't have a religion, because most people that have a religion, they have someone that will be there for them or you know, what I mean, that's just the way that goes. But even if you have a religion and you're just unsure, still, you can always call on Anubis. That's for sure. 
and he definitely comes for those that's castaways, exiled, not sure. I mean, these these are these are. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call these people bad apples. A lot of bad luck, maybe. Um, rough upbringings. It's a lot that that goes into this. But then you got you got veterans. You know what I mean? They they've lost it up here, so they really don't. You know, you feel me? And like I said, that's why that's why I feel like it, this 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 is sounding like Anubis. It, it really is. But let's see. They may, they no may, testing they involving SCP-4999 has been authorized or attempted due to available data indicating that observation of a subject precludes its manifestation, as well as ethical concerns. Goddamn ethics committee. Discovery. SCP-4999 was initially discovered as the result of its emerging status as an urban legend, with footage of an entity appearing on hospital security cameras worldwide being disseminated via the internet and various television programs. A minor disinformation program was put into effect to maintain this public image, and SCP-4999 was officially registered on November 27, 1998. In the years following SCP-4999's classification, additional research and cross-referencing with accounts of similar phenomena have suggested that while concrete evidence of SCP-4999 appearances has become more commonplace due to the advent of photography and video recording technology in the modern era, writings and artistic depictions of a figure exhibiting similar properties, behavior, and physical resemblance to SCP-4999 exist throughout world history culture, and mythology, with some accounts being thousands of years old, in some cases predating human civilization. It is not currently understood how pre-modern cultures would have been capable of detecting SCP-4999's presence. Investigation is ongoing. There isn't a lot of SCPs that restore your faith in this universe, but man, this is one of them. But that about does it for today. Thank you for listening. If indeed you still are, and you're oh, all dismissed. Goodbye. Okay, mates, and there you have it. Okay, so I got, I got, I got a few things here. First of all, uh, Doctor Miller, peace to you. But why are you sounding all depressed and stuff? I mean, it, it's, it's it's almost a bit hypocritical, both simple. You look where you work at, and look at the stuff that y'all do. Look at D class. You sounding depressed, but look what y'all do to D class. And you, you what? A bit con a contradicting hypocrite. Okay. Well, anyways, all right. Let's get off him. Mythology. thousand years back cultural mythology and that's Anubis man that's Anubis at least I think I feel I really feel like that's Anubis. And he just took on the world re, the, the world renowned Constantine. So it's Anubis looking like Constantine. So basically Anubis got a got a Constantine avatar and he's here doing doing a little work, helping people get to the other side. That fits in that category right there, of course. But I'm sure I'm sure there's other so for those, you know what I'm saying, don't feel bad if you don't if you don't meet the criteria here. I'm sure there's there's plenty more. That's just what they know of right now. You know what I'm saying? These folks don't know everything. So don't expect them to know everything. Just because they told you what they told you don't mean that they've told you everything. And just because they've told you a mouthful don't mean that that's everything. And that they know everything. So, uh, if it's Anubis, this is definitely not a Keter. It's not dangerous. They want to call it dangerous. 
then they can call it dangerous, but it's only dangerous because they can't contain it. Anything you can't control, they consider dangerous. You can't control the people, they dangerous. You feel me? That, that, so it's the same game. You just got to be able to, don't let most stuff go over your head and kind of think a little deeper. Don't let, don't, don't let nobody tell you, you think, man, you think it too much, man, you, you think it too deep on it, you all in the rabbit hole. Don't let them tell you that and get you out of that hole. Go in there because I promise you, when you, when you get down there, you either going to find what you're looking for or you're going to find a snake. So don't go in the hole unprepared, okay? Don't go in the hole unprepared. Now, nah. if you're going in a hole, go in there expecting one or two things. Well, I would say one or three. Something that you're looking for, a snake, or nothing. That's it. But I really do believe this newest. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe it's a newest in a in a uh, in a Constantine avatar. Though I, I really do. <laughs> just I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all like this video. Uh, I'm finna get up out of here. So y'all, um, I, I, I got got things to do, guys. I will be back though to do more for you. Um, y'all remember to keep your head on the swivel. You know what I'm saying? Stay safe out here. Keep your um. Don't forget to keep yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, and uh, emotionally protected. Of course, do not let the world drive you crazy. You know what I mean? Stay out of the way. If they're trying to bring you down, tell them, uh uh. Make them come up to the green and get you. Because if they ain't coming, if they not coming with you with some love like mine, or some, or some blue shock or truth, then what do we do? Unless we're going higher, unless they're taking you higher, don't, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it, baby. I'm with y'all, y'all with us, you know what I'm saying? Academates, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like, share, and subscribe button on your way out. And uh, we shall return with more SCPs. You feel? Peace.